tough way to lose a ball game, you know. So we had a lead. Um, we got to play tougher with the lead. We fouled in a situation that we didn't want to foul in, and then, uh, you know, the end. The end. Maxie makes a big shot. So, you know, we got to do better. Yeah, and so I, I believe it was Isaiah in the corner was cutting and he thought he was spotting. So, you know. What's, what's, when, when Maxie grabs for that three, I mean, what's, what's your reaction to that? That's a shot that goes in. Yeah, no, you know, and, and again, in, in those situations, you know, you talk about what you want to do there out of timeouts. Josh has got two free throws. It's two. So you have to, you know, communicate the what your decisions are. And so, you know, we could have done better in that situation, and we will. Is it, uh, is it too early to follow through there? Well, you know, we, we could have. That's, you know, but we'll leave it at that. Yep. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, Maxie had a huge game on us. You know, so he's explosive. Doesn't take much to get him going, and so we gave him too much. And once he got in rhythm, it, it was hard to slow down. Yeah, it's a tough way to lose because you, get, you know you get up, you know, six eight. And then, you know, we had a couple turnovers. Then we, you know, and we got to just, you know, be better, play tougher with the lead, use good judgment. Fourth quarter is different. Understand, you know, the difference. So we can do better and we will. Tom, what's the mindset as you go back to Philly now? Same. Yeah, tomorrow, watch film, make our corrections, get ready to go down there. Tom, you said um, we could have fouled. Um, yeah, well, so you, you have, you, the, the, what you have to do is because they're out of timeouts, they're going quick. But you also have to read what what's ha what's happening. So, it does is he making both? That puts you up four. Is he making one? That puts you in a different situation. Does if he misses both? That's it puts you in another situation. So, you're, you're communicating that to to your players, but you're also you got to make sure that that's being communicated to his people on the on the line too. So that's our, that's where our communication has to be better. So. You don't want to, if you if you're you know like if you miss two and you say foul then you you know you so you got to everyone's got to be alert and aware as to what we're doing. Coach, how do you put this game behind you? What do you tell your guys? Same thing, like uh, the same routine after every game, whether you win or lose. The next day, come in, look at the film, make your corrections. We, there's things we got to fix. Fix them. Get ready for the next game. Understand what goes into preparing to win a game, and that so that should never change. Good. You know, I mean, he gave us good, solid minutes. You know, um, you know, and beats a lot to deal with. I thought Isaiah, the the, the two of them, and, and then our entire team. You you got to guard him with your team. Tom, Dante, Dante obviously hit the big shot in game two, but he's had some trouble getting on track in these other games. Uh, just what are you seeing? Yeah, just keep trusting your shot. He he puts the work in every day, and so. Open, shoot, guard it, make a play. Maxi made a tough shot with um, four point play. And then uh, I don't remember what exactly what happened, but something else happened too. But y'all yeah, may made another tough shot. So that's how it goes sometimes. Was there any discussion to foul on that play? Yeah, we talked about it, but I don't, it happened so fast. But yeah, it was sad. Do, do you just have to tip your hat to a guy like that when he's having the night that he has? And yeah, he made some really tough shots. He's a great player. But it was, that's on us. We got to execute better. I'll be better. Coach, you've had a while to do five games here. The point differentials just two. I mean, with how even we can test it, just what's going to be. What's it going to take to close this thing out on the road? Just playing a full 48 minutes. You know, we've had good stretches. Just continue to do it and just try to play a full game. You know, that's the game we should have won. But now all we can do is just, you know, watch film and regroup and get ready for the game. You know, whenever it is. Thursday. Thursday. Take us through that last possession in, in the fourth quarter when Maxi hit the shot. Did you guys talk about foul? Um, we, we didn't relay, um, you know, that. And I think that's 
an error on, um, you know, the guys on the court. We got to make sure we know um, what the situation is. Um, but can't can't do anything about it now. We just got to, like I said, regroup, watch film, see what we could have done better, and, you know, get ready for the game. Josh, what's the mindset going back to Philly? The mindset is, you know, get a win, I think. Uh, I mean, there's nothing different, nothing changes in terms of uh, how we're preparing or um, the objective. That's the same thing. How do you find the balance? I mean, another night for you where you play every single minute and with the quick turnaround, how do you find the balance between sort of like rest and then also focusing on the changes in the preparation? Um, yeah. Uh, just a lot of icing, co tub, soft tissue work. Um, you know, and then just got to, you know, get shots up. Wild that through five games here, the point differential is just two. You know, when you look at how evenly contested this matchup is going to be, has been, like, how do you find the edge? Is it, does it, how much of it comes down to the mental side at this point? Um, I mean, that's all it really comes down to right now. Um, you know, a, a mistake here or there, um, a missed shot here or there, missed free throw here or there. Um, so we we got to make sure we're um, sharp mentally, and um, you know I think we're very, you know prepared with the game plan. We just got to go out there and execute it. Josh, you just mentioned it, uh, the missed free throws, a couple of turnovers you guys had in overtime. Mm -hmm. Is that kind of what you're talking about? Though? Yeah, I mean I miss a free throw with you know what less than ten seconds left. If I made both, we win. So um, you know. That know what the situation is, uh, and you know I gotta take that one on the chin, and you know not let it happen again. When you consider, you know, what it takes to close this thing out, and how tightly contested this series has been, and how physical this series has been, how much do you rely on the resiliency that this team has been able to show all season long? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a tough one, but we have a, a great group of leaders from the coaching staff to the leaders in this locker room that I think are just going to regroup us and and get back to the drawing board. Is that uh, not fouling Maxi there before he gets off that, that shot? Yeah. Yeah. Can what you take us through? Happened? Yeah, can you take us through kind of the, the thought process there and all the things you're trying to think about and do in a moment that goes by so quick? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, split second decisions when we should have been talking about it um, during the free throws, but I think, you know, when he's coming at you full speed, um, you know, you hit a close to half court shot. It's, it's not much you can do. It's, you don't want to take a chance where you might go into a shooting motion. Um, probably should have been up on him a little bit more, but you know, just learn from it. Are you, especially considering he's like one play removed from having a four point play, are you, is that like fresh in your mind and like don't foul him on the way up too? I think a, a little bit, but I think if we just would have communicated, it could have uh, exited all out. Not good judgment on my part. Uh, a careless turnover in overtime, and then um, just making sure we're all on the same page at the end of regulation. And um, but uh, hats off to them. Now they kept fighting, played the full amount of uh, 53 minutes, and so um, yeah, we just got to come back. Maxi, Maxi hit some tough shots. Just mm -hmm. during the course of the game, did the coverage change on him? Yeah, we did some different things, but um, I mean, good players are always going to adjust, and so he kept adjusting and he kept creating space and uh, just doing the things that he does. So uh, we got to make him a little bit more uncomfortable and um, stick together on the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, he can't just see one person; he has to see a couple, uh, multiple bodies. And um, but he was very comfortable and he, he played really well. How frustrating is it to be so close to ending the series and now have to go back to? It's frustrating, um, obviously the way it happened, but um, you know, we can't hang our heads. And um, we got to come back stronger and be ready to go and um, just learn from what we did. You were Max in the training blows for most of the night. How tough was it for him to just follow up with all the shots he was making as well? Say it again? Sorry. You were Max in the training blows for most of the night. How tough was it right, for you for, to see him connect with most of the shots after you hit him as well? Yeah, I mean, that, that's the, that's what he does, and so um, I mean you got to pick your poison, either uh, him or Joel. And so um, he was able to make some 
big time shots. And so, uh, I mean, obviously we want to play better. We want to make it a little bit more uh, difficult for him, but you know, he made some tough shots as well. So we got to come back and uh, you know, just play a little tougher, play a little better and um, really just stick together.